Harem Scarum, written by Janine Willis, illustrated by David Roberts. Chapter 1, The Hairiest of Them All Long ago, there lived a harem scarum. No one knew where he came from. Everyone wished he would go away. The harem scarum had hairy arms, hairy legs, and hairy toes. He had a hairy face, a hairy back, and a hairy nose. The harem scarum's hair was long. It was so long that it would wrap around his body. It was so long that sometimes he couldn't see where he was going. He never cut it. He just let it grow. When he swam in the sea, fish got stuck in it. When he walked in the sand, lizards got lost in it. When he swung through the trees, monkeys got mixed up in it. The harem scarum's hair was a mess. Sometimes the animals wanted to tell him so. Sometimes they wanted to say, Get your hair cut! But they didn't dare. They were much too scared. The harem scarum went on his way. His hair was full of bats and rats and frogs and dogs. It was full of slugs and bugs and baby birds. But the harem scarum didn't care. He just let his hair grow longer and longer. Chapter 2 Get your hair cut. One sunny day, the harem scarum was sitting on the warm sand. He felt an animal trip over his hair. It was a turtle. The turtle landed on his back with his legs in the air. The turtle was angry. Get your hair cut, he cried. How dare you talk to me like that, roared the harem scarum. The turtle hid. But he hadn't seen the last of the harem scarum. The harem scarum was angry. That night he got some gum from a gum tree. Then he got his scissors. He cut off some of his hair and went to where the turtle slept. Next, the harem scarum woke the turtle. The turtle poked his head out of his shell. In a flash, the harem scarum stuck the hair onto the turtle's head. The turtle shook his head, but the hair wouldn't come off. Help! he cried. I can't hide in my shell. The next day, the harem scarum went walking through the warm jungle. His hair was in his eyes. He didn't see a juicy melon lying on the path. He stepped on the melon. That's my lunch, cried an animal. It was an elephant. Get your hair cut, she yelled. How dare you talk to me like that, roared the harem scarum. The elephant hid. She hadn't seen the last of the harem scarum. That night, the harem scarum went to where the elephant slept. He got more gum and cut off more of his hair. He stuck the hair to the elephant's head. Then he woke her. The elephant shook her head. Then she shook it some more. The hair wouldn't come off. Help! she cried. I'm much too warm with all this hair. The next day, the harem scarum was walking by the river. He snagged an animal. It was a snake. He dragged the snake all the way up a hill and all the way down. Get your hair cut, yelled the snake. How dare you talk to me like that, roared the harem scarum. The snake hid, but he hadn't seen the last of the harem scarum. That night, the harem scarum went to where the snake slept. When the snake woke up, he had a long hair stuck to his head. He cried, I can't go anywhere with all this hair. The harem scarum went on his way. His hair was full of bats and rats and frogs and dogs. It was full of slugs and bugs and baby birds, but he didn't care. He just let it grow longer and longer. Chapter 3 Snick, Snack, Snick Soon, every animal who dared to say anything to the harem scarum had big, scary hair. 
Every fish was too shaggy to swim. Every bird was too furry to fly. Every hippo was too woolly to wade. One day, the hare queen came to visit the animals. The hare queen was in charge of how animals were meant to look. When she saw what was going on, she was very angry. The fish are shaggy, the birds are furry, and the hippos are woolly, she cried. Who has done this to my animals? When the hare queen found out, she sent for the harem scarum. Get your hair cut, she roared. How dare you talk to me like that, the harem scarum roared back. The hare queen wasn't scared of the harem scarum. She tied him to a tree with his hair. Then she hung some scissors around his neck. The only way the harem scarum could get free was to cut his hair. He had to do it. He took the scissors and started to cut. Snick, snack, snick, went the scissors. Soon the harem scarum was almost bald. Chapter 4 The Hairless Scareless The harem scarum went out into the world. Because he was almost bald, he looked small and weak. None of the animals were afraid of him, but he was afraid of them. You're not a harem scarum, cried the elephant. You're a hairless scareless. Please don't yell at me, the harem scarum said. I'll do anything. Just don't yell at me. Give us a haircut, the animal said. The harem scarum grabbed the scissors and began to snip. And the harem scarum is still snipping. That's why you never see a turtle or an elephant or a snake with big scary hair. He cuts his own hair, too. That's why you never see a hairy harem scarum.